This is TED Health. I'm Dr. Shoshana Ungerleiter. We've been using devices like defibrillators and pacemakers in our bodies for decades to replace or support damaged tissue. In his 2021 TED Fellows talk, Amino engineer Aaron Morris imagines a not so distant future where this technology is used to create a diagnostic lab within the body. This is a truly inside out approach that could be game changing for doctors to be able to diagnose illness earlier and provide better treatments. Ow! As anyone who stubbed a toe in the dark or spent an hour searching for their keys knows, we're often limited by what we can or cannot see. In fact, even our own bodies can be black boxes. Today, I wanna to take you through a vision of healthcare that scientists and engineers, myself included, are building. We are creating a diagnostic lab inside your body that can provide a continuous analysis of your health so that we can better see what's happening in patients. Currently, if someone is sick, we may diagnose them by using a biopsy to bring disease tissue outside the body where we can see it. We do this if we suspect, for instance, that a growth might be cancerous. Unfortunately, this approach can't work all the time because of two major problems. First, some tissues, like brains or spinal cords, can't be routinely biopsied. And second, doctors often don't know which tissue is causing the problem, so they don't know what to biopsy. So far, we've dealt with these issues using external medical tests, like MRIs or blood tests. These provide a broad overview of the health of a patient, but they can't see the molecular and cellular changes that occur within tissues, and they certainly can't provide enough information to proactively treat patients before symptoms develop. This is unfortunate because it's these invisible changes that ultimately cause disease. Our inability to measure these changes results in a disparity between what we can see on a test and what we know is happening in patients. Let's take multiple sclerosis as an example. In MS, which is an autoimmune disease, the immune system attacks two specific tissues, the brain and the spinal cord, resulting in damage, and in some cases, paralysis. Now, we obviously can't catch MS by routinely biopsying people's brains, where there would be abundant and active disease-inducing cells. And we can't catch it using a blood test, because the MS-inducing cells are so rare and inactive in the blood that we simply can't see them. Even brain imaging technologies like MRI can't provide the information we need to be proactive about MS. So we need to rethink how we see. My coworkers at the University of Michigan and I decided to do just that. Instead of taking an outside-in approach to diagnostics, we're taking an inside-out approach. We are creating implantable sites that have similarities to other sites in the body and will improve our vision by giving us real-time access to molecular and cellular information about disease tissues. These insights will enable us to predict the onset of disease and even identify therapies likely to work in an individual patient. So, what does this inside-out approach look like? Step one is to engineer new tissues just under the skin. These tissues have similarities to other inaccessible sites in the body, like the brain or the lungs. By implanting a porous plastic disc made of FDA-approved biomaterials, I can harness the body's natural responses to allow cells to migrate into the disc survive at the site, and form a tissue. Eventually, we're left with an engineered tissue with integrated immune cells, just the cells we need for diagnosis. Although these tissues are complex and chronically inflamed, they're also innocuous, and after a few weeks, nearly imperceptible. Our engineered tissues contain information not present in the blood, and they can help bridge the gap between what we can see on a traditional test and cellular changes we know occur in disease. Step two is to read this signal. Currently, I could take a biopsy of my engineered site and analyze it because I made them accessible just under the skin. But it would certainly be better if we could incorporate and read a sensor non-invasively. Within the next decade, rapidly converging technologies could enable diagnosis at such an implant by harnessing simple detectors like a blood pressure cuff or smartwatch does now. The mechanisms for diagnosing and monitoring disease could be as simple as opening an app like Candy Crush on your phone. Step three is to harness the huge array of knowledge in fields like engineering and materials science to improve these implants and our ability to read their data. Eventually, tens if not hundreds of individual engineered tissues with integrated sensors may be implantable with a single application. 
Now, this approach to diagnosis is unconventional to be sure, but it is robust. So far, my colleagues and I have used it to diagnose models of metastatic cancer, type 1 diabetes, multiple sclerosis, and organ transplant rejection. But this is just the beginning of what we can see. With continuous improvements, we will be able to truly create a diagnostic lab inside your body that provides a continuous analysis of your health. By changing how we see what's going wrong in patients, we will be able to diagnose and treat diseases better and faster than ever before. If you're willing to rethink how you see, you may be surprised what comes into view. Thank you.